how to fix Fortnite crashing on PlayStation 5. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to power cycle your console. Here's how to do it. Press and hold the power button in front of the console, select power off and the screen will turn dark. Then remove all the wires and wait for a couple of minutes. Then press the power button and hold it several times until any remaining power is there. Then connect all the wires back and turn on your console. This will also clear your system cache. Next step, update PS5 system software. For this, you have to go to the settings and select the system software update. If there is a recent update, download it and then try your game, see if that helps. Next step, you can rebuild your PS5 database. Firstly, completely power off your console. Open the safe mode menu by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds until you hear two boot up sounds from the PS5. Connect your controller via the USB cable and into the port of the system. Select the fifth option which is rebuild database to begin the process. The PS5 will restart and initiate the rebuilding procedure. Next step, this issue of crashing in PlayStation 5 generally may happen due to a failed hard drive. For this, you can transfer your game to an SSD on an external drive just in case to check whether it works. So once you connect an external hard drive, you will be prompted to format it on the PlayStation 5. Head into the main setting and scroll down to open the device menu. Here you need to select USB storage device, option to locate your newly plugged in device. Confirm the option to format as an extended storage device. Make sure you have backup everything which is there in the external drive to some other drives or if it is an empty one that's perfectly fine. Now simply head to the storage option in the settings and into the main system storage location. Once in the applications list, you can click on the option of the button on your controller to select Fortnite over to the external drive. It will take time depending on what's the total game size and what kind of external drive you have connected. Last step would be that it may be happened the problem is due to your account and not the PlayStation. For this, the very simple step what you need to do is you have to download your game on your PC and what you have over here you have to type this particular command which is percentage app data percentage hit OK. Go to app data over here, go to local and you have to find Fortnite game. Saved, config, Windows client and game user settings. Now this is gonna file which is gonna be there when you have installed Fortnite for the very first time and played a match or tried to play the match, what you have to do is basically you have to delete this file. Simply click on this and permanently delete it. Once you delete the file, relaunch Fortnite again, the file will be back again with the default settings and you can try playing for like one or two matches. And if the game works fine, then you start your PlayStation in the safe mode, try the game once and then restart your PlayStation 5 and then try the game again. This time you will see the crashes will be gone. So this is a step which you can do if in case the problem is with your account and not with the PlayStation 5 itself. So make sure you try this and do let me know in the comment section that whether it helped or not. If this video helped you, please don't forget the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.